Welcome back to this Let's Play of the original official campaign for Neverwinter Nights 2. Last time, we're, we were told that there's a dragon that's way out here in this ancient valley that has some information about how to reforge the Silver Sword of Gith so we can, you know, save the world. Gotta save the world. We have been all. climbing for some time, but I feel that our destination is near. Ah, look there. It is the path that Amanjero spoke of. The one that winds like the tail of a great beast. Odd that he requested that we go out here to find out about this area, but uh, did not want to come himself. Given that Jero is uh, an individual who seems to rub a lot of people the wrong way, maybe there's a reason for that. We'll find out soon enough. There's a slight complication. The uh, dragon we're out here to see is um, dead. Well, you know, the dead are dead, of course, of course. And no one can talk to the dead, of course. But I can speak to the dead, of course, because I've got to speak with dead. Yeah, actually I don't. They didn't code the speak with dead spell. Mostly because, well, there would have to be plot reasons to use it, and... Yeah, I guess this game does have a plot. It just takes a while to get there. Anyway, uh, that song is, uh, or line is... a. Uh, stolen mercilessly from Dragon Magazine, which is probably dating me somewhat if, uh, I mean, the whole concept of a magazine is Life dated. grows thick here, even in the middle of these dead mountains. Thank you for that ominous pronouncement. It must be the presence of the Dragon Spirit that makes this place possible. Know that we should continue our search. The Dragon cannot be far. It's not the first time I'm going to get interrupted while just walking through this area, because Ziggy seems set on just interrupting- this crystal. Stop it! It is shaped like the heart of a dragon. I do not think we should harm it, since that could serve only to anger the dragon. Yeah, she keeps interrupting me. This gets annoying after a while. Know that perhaps. Yeah, and there's just some random elementals that are attacking us. Uh, inadequately explained. Though they're worth good XP, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Unfortunately, they don't drop uh, essences that I can use for crafting. I ran out of earth essences, so I was actually hoping that the uh, they would drop the earth elementals would drop earth essences. Water, I've got plenty of. Know that I feel a great energy coming from this crystal. Dragonkin must be drawn to it and covet its power. They watch us. For now, we must be careful. Great. Anyway, this is a strange heart-shaped crystal. Hmm. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. It actually is guarded by I, what I believe are the last two non-undead enemies in the game. Pretty much everything after this is undead, so I... With uh, my know-it-all challenge, I've actually been using a couple of these scrolls ahead of time just to make sure I can use them on something that will actually, where they'll actually do something. All of these insta-kill attacks, of course, don't do anything against undead. They're already dead. Now, being dead apparently is just not much of a disadvantage in this place because hey, we're going to have a conversation here with something that's been should have been dead for a while. Dare to disturb me here? Were I not chained to this deathless existence, I would scatter your shattered bodies to the winds for your trespass. Yet instead, you roam unchecked within my remains, like parasites. What promises shall you make this time? Okay, uh, I guess this is the dragon we're looking for. It's definitely not the droid we're looking for. You no doubt come at the heels of your masters, though they are not present. Um, yeah, what it said. Lies! Why else would you be here in this one scar in the earth, were it not at the command of the Irfan? I may rest upon the brink of death, but do not think me blind to what transpires on my grave. You are here because you again need my help. 
though you always refuse the price, did you think you could cage a power of the planes? Well, sorry, uh, I am not an emissary from your boyfriend, the Ilfarn Empire. Empire. They haven't called. I will show you what it means to be caged. Together we shall remain here, to contemplate, to despair, to rot. I have been here for millennia. How long do you think you will last, mortal? Okay, well, clearly this thing is delusional, but uh, we'll see if we can talk some sense into it. Or talk at the empty air. Hello, anyone home? Your pizza's here. Well, I guess we should talk about the King of Shadows. Shadow? What shadow? The King of Shadows has returned to this plane. Know that if he is not stopped... This changes things. While I hate the Irfan, that is but a pale flame compared to my hatred for the King of Shadows. I have not heard that cursed name for a lifetime. Okay, well, given that he's using the phrase a lifetime, and we'll find out soon enough that Amanjiro talked to him a little while ago, uh, he's probably talking in terms of a lifetime being like 20, 30 years. Um, and I guess, you know, it's sort of a lifetime. But uh, it's many lifetimes if you're a bacteria, and it's not very many lifetimes at all if you're talking on this guy's age scale, which he'll explain in a second. My name is Nolaloth Karagazant, but I know the weaknesses of the minds of mortals in shaping such words. You may settle with Nolaloth. Once I was a great power, an ancient being of crystal and might. Once, now no longer. Nolaloth? You were the worm of legend that fought the King of Shadows. We've known that name for a while now, Ziggy. Don't sound surprised. Are you or are you not of Irfan? No, we didn't come on their behalf. You've... If you're waiting for a phone call from Ilfarn, you... let's just face it, girl, He's not. it's not that into you. Dead. Then my last shreds of hope go along with them. It is a wonder that the endless decades have not driven me mad. I have waited for them for thousands of years. I was promised a new life, and instead, I have been abandoned, left to languish in this insignificant crack in the world. And when an eternity had passed, another fragile mortal appeared, no doubt seeking power. He called himself Armanjero and claimed to be of Irfan. Well, I guess that explains why Jero decided not to come along. You know this man, and I should trust you for what reason? Um... I should probably say, you really don't have a reason to trust us, but uh, well, we'll choose we have a complicated history instead. Is that the closest choice? Then perhaps he uses you as well. Tell me then, why are you here? We're just trying to save the world, and we can't get guns, so we're looking for the Sword of Gith. Of course. Your weapon was broken by the King of Shadows, was it not? Of silver swords I know but little. The Githyanki jealously guard their secrets. But I do know about the King of Shadows' tactics. How it breaks an opponent. That really wasn't what, uh... The question that I asked, but hey, you know, free info, let's just take it. Your adversary spreads its influence by corrupting its targets until they no longer resemble what they once were. Eventually, all one can see is the shadow. It grows long and distracts us from what casts it. But 
A shadow can never become more than a weak outline. It may stretch and grow fearsomely large, but always must it circle its master. Your blade is no different. If the sword is to be made whole again, you must look past the pale shadows its broken pieces cast and find the center from where the shadow emanates. If you do not, then there is no way in which the sword may be reformed. Okay, um, and I like the third option here, which is the correct answer, or, well, just the resolution to the question. It's more or less like 2 plus 2 makes falafel, because it's... There was a scar, a, a black spot on the ground that was mentioned in West Harbor last time we were there, um, when Ziggy was with the party, but uh, how we know that that is the center of the blade is pretty random. I, it, maybe it was explained in a cutscene that I skipped or something. Then that is where you must go now, mortal. It will be perilous, but I believe we can use the song portal from the Ilfarn ruins to reach the Guardian ruins on the outskirts of West Harbor. I can see from your eyes that this is what you came for. Now, I must ask of you. Always I have been promised recompense at a later date. Even now, my mind verges on insanity with the long years. For tolerating your presence, I make but one demand. Kill me. You wish us to end your life? This life is an abomination, and I am no longer content to wait for chance to rescue me from the void. Okay, uh, hopefully we're in the state of Oregon where this is legal. To kill me, mortal, you must simply destroy my heart. Be warned, it attracts many beings of power that feed from it, as you have already noticed. My body is no more, but in its place, a new kind of life has sprung into being. My heart is all that remains. The last shreds of my life reside within. You may harm it, now that I wish it to be so. Go now. I tire of everything. Uh, you do have to demonstrate that you have terminal illness and you have a certain amount of time left to live. Uh, I think you also have to get some independent opinions from doctors. Hello? I'm explaining the, the Death with Dignity Act here. Hello? Okay, well. I guess we're just gonna have to do it. It's made a clear request. Repeated it. Yeah, we got enough covered, right? Anyway, gonna buff up. Well, I've consulted with the lawyers, and, uh, they tell me we're out of time for this episode, and uh, that gives, that'll give them some time to look for legal precedent when we don't have all of the uh, portions required for the Death of the Dignity Act. Hopefully we'll get that resolved before next time. Until then, well, you'll just have to wait.